This is the space in the body through which life descends into the fetus. So this is the Brahmarantra. If dimensions beyond the physical become a constantly, constantly active process, some of you might have felt this in your Shambhavi, you got an antenna on your head which is… which is giving you a certain perspective of life. If you have a newborn baby in your home, you would see a certain part of the skull is not formed. Have you noticed this? So the child has to be handled gently, that part is just skin, there is no bone. So, this part in the yogic terminology is referred to as Brahma Randra. Randra means a passage, like a small hole or a tunnel or a passage. So this is known as Brahma Randra. So this is the space in the body through which life descends into the fetus because life has descended into the fetus and life keeps its options open. Whether this body is capable of sustaining it or not, it keeps the options open. That much awareness is there in the life process, so it keeps that trap door open till the last minute. It wants to keep it open just in case it finds the body unsuitable for its existence, it will leave. And it does not want to leave from any other passage in the body, it wants to leave the way it came. A good guest always comes through the front door and goes out through the front door. If he comes through the front door and goes out to the back door, that means your house is swept clean. So, he wants to go out to the same door, so he keeps it open till the last minute he wants to keep his choices. There are any number of probably if there are doctors or obstetricians you would know, there are any number of cases where by all medical parameters the fetus is healthy, everything is fine, but uh, for some reason a stillbirth happens simply because the life within is still choosing. If it finds a wrong kind of body is happening, life has its own karmic substance and the fetus has the karma of the parents. So it has made its choice, it is… ninety percent of the time it is correct or more, it is correct. Sometimes it is conscious that it could make a wrong choice. So this is the reason why during pregnancy so many precautions were taken to create a different kind of atmosphere around a, a woman who is pregnant. We are giving that up now, a woman goes to work, she sits in the cinema, she goes all over the place. Such a thing is not maintained anymore. This was done just hoping something better than who both of you are comes into your womb. You know what I'm saying? You are husband and wife, you are of a certain quality. You want your child to be of a higher quality than who you are, not just like you. Someone better than you should come into your room so that for that sake, even a husband was not allowed to see a woman beyond a certain stage of pregnancy because she is to be kept in a certain state of comfort and well-being with a certain type of thought, with a certain type of atmosphere, trying to please her system in all ways, right kind of incense, right kind of sounds, right kind of mantras, right kind of food, everything so that her body is in a state that it welcomes the right kind of being. Maybe in today's world it is <laughs> all these things are out of question. So if a being enters into this particular fetus and finds it unsuitable as it evolves to become a baby, then it leaves. That is why one door is kept open. So this is the Brahmarantra. 
And even when you leave one day, you can leave whichever way. But if you leave through the Brahmarandra, it is the best way to leave. If you leave consciously whichever part of the body, it is fine. But if you can leave from there, it is the best way to leave. So because there is lot of talk about this, there are books which have been written about it. One thing is there's a huge possibility that one, an in individual people may start imagining things on top of their head or between their forehead, they keep imagining many things. Because you need to understand this, <clears throat> wherever you focus your mind, there there will be some twitching. If you want, right now you experiment, hold your little finger like this and focus at the tip of this little finger, you will see within a minute's time there will be twitching. Any part of the body, if you focus your mind, some twitching you will notice. So that is not to be mistaken as some other great process happening within you. Or of course there are physiological twitches and twists happening here and there. Hmm? Once in a way it happens to you, you are sleeping some part of the body, little bit of twitch and this and that. Especially if you are very nervous, it could happen to you quite often. If you are at ease, it may not happen. If you are in a little bit of tension or stress, it could happen to you in different parts. So that is not to be mistaken either. I don't know if I should say this because if I say this, you may start imagining all kinds of things. If you become meditative, now that you are becoming, as you do Shambhavi, I shouldn't say this, it'll lead to all kinds of things. Because people have a very wild imagination. I always avoid telling them anything which is not in their experience because they will start imagining all kinds of things. Anyway, if you don't do this to yourself, it's not necessary. If I hold my hand above my Brahmarandra, even up to four feet above, if you hold it, you will see a clear feeling in your hand which is always in the form of like a… something like an eight. This will be always happening if you keep your energies in a certain way. This can happen to every human being, but it is happening within. It doesn't extend itself beyond because the final two chakras out of the one hundred and fourteen chakras that are there in the system, two chakras are outside the body. If Dimensions beyond the physical become a constantly, constantly active process. Some of you might have felt this in your Shambhavi. For a few moments, you feel something beyond yourself has become active. So if a dimension beyond your physicality becomes a continuously active process within you, then after some time, these two chakras which are dormant and outside the body become active. If they become active, there is a you got an antenna on your head. You seen a police antenna? You got an antenna on your head, which is… which is giving you a certain perspective of life. 